Welcome to my world. Come on in and make yourselves at home. Welcome to my life. I know everything's going to be all right. Welcome to my world. Oh, won't you come on in? Welcome to my life. It's known as the Tiger's Den. Greetings to all of my subscribers. I want to thank you for being with me for as long as you have. And the new subscribers that's coming on in. We want to say greetings and thank you for your time. This is from Toothless and the moderators. Welcome to the Tiger's Den. Greetings. This is the voice of Cheryl, and I am Toothless Tiger. I'm coming you. I'm coming to you tonight as a premiere. Unfortunately, I'm involved in a lot of heavy work and I cannot be available for my show tonight. So instead of not coming on and uh, leaving you guys without toothless, I thought I'd just make a quick premiere so that you can know that you all are important to me and I appreciate you guys. You know, I've been looking at things going on here in this past, I don't know. 14, 15 months, and life has really changed for a lot of us. Certainly, YouTube relationships have changed, and it is very baffling, to say the least. But we persevere. We go on, we get over it, and we do whatever we need to do. However, there are some things that, once you lose them, you can never get them back. And that's very important to know. A lot of things people assume people know because of their age or their position in life. But I always remember it is written, how can one know except he be taught? And a lot of things we assume people are taught and some people are not and that's no disrespect or disregard of their parents but i can only give you what i have and if i don't know and you're my offspring then i'm not going to be able to lay that foundation for you and you may get it but my daddy always taught us that if you don't have home training, then, you know, the streets are teach you. And the streets don't love you like I do. And so it's not to say, again, there are bad parents. Maybe the parenting skills are not up to par. But as a mother, and a woman and a lover of people. I don't like many people, but I love people. I connect with people issues. We all have them. I wanted to speak just a little bit on something I seen on one of the content creators page and it literally broke my heart to hear her express herself but i could so very well identify and relate to the pain the disbelief the betrayal of trust 
that I could hear in her conversation. Although this individual, unbeknownst to me, states now that she never cared for me, I never knew that. And I thought that we all had a camaraderie. I always consider you a friend until you prove yourself otherwise. And the reason I do that is because I was trained in the way I should go. And in my foundation, I was trained by the Sun Book. And in that book, most called the Bible, it says in order to have friends, you got to show yourself friendly. And I'm a friendly person. I have issues. But I'm a friendly person. And I allow people to be who they are until they show me different. And I was never shown anything different until I was tested by the fire. And to see everybody go from hello, hello, hello to uh, I don't mess with her. She's messy. Old woman. She's just a liar. And you know, I was just trying to imagine where could they get that from? And it was from the wicked witch of the east. South east. To be exact. Because that person, I felt we had actually a kindred friendship. I felt we had really a connection. We laughed and cried together. Whether they ever admit to it or not is their business. I shared funds thinking I was helping an individual in their family. And they love to laugh about it and talk about it and tell the world how I was a fish on the hook. I'm a woman trying to buy friendship. I'm none of that. None of that. I am who I say I am. And I see that in this content creator that I was listening to on last night. And it just really broke my heart. Because I understand that betrayal. And when the people betrayed me, they chose to go with those people. And they said, oh, this woman here, I'd go with her anytime over that woman. But that woman was the same snake that has bitten this new content creator I'm talking about. And the content creator is not new. The pain of being betrayed is new. And the one that's doing the betrayal, they feel nothing, know nothing. And it saddens me. They never speak ill of me. And I appreciate that. But to see them in the light today, that I knew them in shining so bright like a diamond, it saddens me. And they can be whomever they choose to be and they can take their storyline wherever they want to take it. It is just painful to see that we, a group of women that used to sit on a panel and we had so much knowledge between us and we shared it and we were in a friendly atmosphere. And to see the power that we have as women be so utterly divided breaks my heart. But of course, there's nothing I can do about that. You know, I've never been a roaster. So I don't choose to get in the mud. 
We all could play that game and get 15 minutes of fame and have everybody at your beck and call and everybody throwing away money on bullshit. When there are real life issues in the world, our children are dying daily. Mothers are having heart attacks and strokes at an alarming rate, dying while giving childbirth the happiest time of a woman's life and she loses hers. But we have some real issues. Police shooting us down in the streets like dogs. And I understand this is entertainment and nobody gets on here to save lives. But I'm not a savior. But I know just listening to the people and looking at what they throw their money away on to disrespect someone, to humiliate you. They won't give you $50, $100, or $25 because they know that this is a hustle for you, your only job, your pastime job, because it is a job. And I know a workman is worthy of its hire, but many of us, don't get the respect or the support. And they say, oh, you ain't nothing. You, you don't have anything to offer. I know that's a lie. I know that's not true. I know that people will hit you up in what they call the background to let you know how great you're doing and how they appreciate you. But in the public, I can't say nothing to you. So don't look for me. And I appreciate those people. Trust me, I do. Because they are the ones that hit my like button and give me a view. And even sometimes throughout the week, send me a gift of kindness and appreciation. And I appreciate that. But it saddens me to see what has happened to us. I'm so very happy to see some of us finding a relationship. It's absolutely beautiful. I'm a hopeless romantic. Communication is the key. No matter what, communication. Never stop communicating. Never stop listening to one another and hear what the other has to say. Be honest with one another and don't allow anyone, anyone to interfere with your relationship. Make it between two people. I can say that I had two failed marriages a hopeless romantic, but I did not know how to love in a loving marriage. And I know it takes two people and we both brought baggage. And they were just a little too heavy for us. We, we couldn't get them on the plane. It was a little too big to go on the plane. They had to go in the underbelly of the plane and somewhere they got lost along the way and so did we and that changed the dynamics of a lot of people everybody loved to remind us how we don't know each other and that goes back to what my daddy taught me that rarely do you catch a person complaining when it's in their favor so for someone to say you know, we don't know each other. Normally, they are saying that when it's not going their way. And then they want you to consider them. But they don't consider you. And in a relationship, it's due consideration. Two people have to consider one another. That's any kind of ship. Friendship, kinship, mothership sistership, brothership. Any relationship, both 
individuals have to be willing to give of themselves their time, perhaps their money, maybe not. But you got to give of yourself or you have nothing. Who am I? Just a 64-year-old woman about to turn 65. <laughs> I love every moment of it. And living for the moment. I promise you when you're 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. Maybe then you start thinking about my, my, my. I am this far away from being 65 years old. And now I am days away from being 65 years old. I am humbled, I am honored, and hope to live and wake up to see it. And I say that with all certainty, but what I do know is we're not promised anything after we enter this realm, but the certainty of death. And that is a transition from this energy to the next. I'm grateful for the opportunity to be on YouTube and to have anyone to listen to me. I count it all joy. But I wanted to share these things tonight because of what I've been witnessing. And I understand the pain. I never disrespected you. I never put you in the middle of a scheme. I never did that until I did it. And I did it recently after you refused to listen to reason. I thought I had relationships with people that I didn't, who came to me, humble, called me mom. Now they can't stand the sight of my voice or the sight of my face or the sound of my voice. And they blocked me, but yet they always commenting on me. I understand you betrayed me too. So I understand betrayal of trust, but I forgive everybody. I don't hold grudges and I don't never have to speak to you all again, nor do y'all have to speak to me, but I have to acknowledge truth and I can relate to pain because that one who betrayed me, the gentleman I'm talking about, who feel I betrayed them because no one with a platform would speak up for me and I got with one of the lowest of the low to do so. They chose the lowest of the low and they all told me they did because they'd never done anything to them. And now they snaked them. And now all of a sudden they're making good words, talking about how great you are. <laughs> and boy, what you could have been doing if you were with them. Okay, do that. What I'm grateful for is the $13 million that I won by default judgment. And don't not one of you all have to believe it. I don't care. It's written. <laughs> so molded me. Yeah. I made history. You know, like the number one draft pick. Yeah. The number one woman that won $13 million because of the stupidity of another man. So I'm grateful. Very grateful. And I don't ever have to change what I do. I do me all times. And I never came doing somebody else. Never. I'm happy to see people going in different directions. I don't know if they're successful at it, but it's good to see. It's so many people with trust issues. And I understand that. I too once had trust issues. And until you work 
on you. I call it the you factor. Then you're going to have a whole lot of issues that don't belong to you. I met some beautiful people along the way. And I was saddened by the turn, the betrayal. And I'm sure most of you don't feel like you betrayed anything or anyone. But first, I guess you got to understand what friendship and relationship, associationship is all about. It's about integrity and honor. Your morals and values. Whatever you hold dear. That's what it's about. Yeah, I don't need anybody to think for one moment they owe me anything. But one thing we're instructed to do, and that's to owe no man anything but love. And y'all don't have to worry about me and collecting on my money. You don't have to worry about that. And you don't have to leave all these ugly little old messages telling me what I ain't going to do. You told me my case was fake and what I wasn't going to do and I wasn't going to get in federal court and I wasn't going to do this. Well, I didn't know I was going to get the win because I didn't know this person was so ignorant and determined to get money as opposed to taking care of their business. So I had no idea that I would win by default. Win is a win. I see people that claim they are afraid for their lives and they're building cases against people and now they're all friends and buddies and throw a little shade at me every now and then. And it's okay, shade me on out because I have nothing for any of you but love. And that's love for mankind. But I'm done with all of the trying to be relationships and friendships I'm going to be kind to those that's kind to me and those that's not we don't even have to be nothing to one another I've learned this game of you two and it's an ugly game if you let it be but since I'm so beautiful in my eyes mm mm it won't be like that for me. I'm going to keep doing me. I really want to let everybody know that I really appreciate them. And I know they blocked this time off for me. And I really decided to do this at the last minute. Because I really got a lot of work to do. And been working. But let me just tell you six things but you can never get back. And I got this, uh, the thoughts are mine, some of them. Some of them I got from Make Me Better and they actually have a YouTube channel. So you should check them out. But we all have heard this and we all have our own definitions of how to say this, but I'm gonna use theirs. Opportunities. It is often said that the biggest regret is the opportunities that were never taken. It is an experience that everyone can relate as you ponder why you did not take the chance when the opportunity arose. Of course, there are sometimes good reasons why you pass on opportunities, but when you do so out of fear or wasting too much time, then it can become a regret that haunts you for the rest of your life. Opportunities happen quite often, so you need to be prepared when the time arrives. Be sure to, e to evaluate the opportunity first and go through reasons why it may be a good or a bad option. Do not let the fear of getting outside of your comfort zone be the reason why you pass on an opportunity. Trust after loss. Is number two. Once trust is lost, it can never be fully regained. While there are things you can do to make the situation better, once trust is no longer present, it is impossible to go back to that time again. Of course, 
the best way to avoid the situation is to not to lose trust in the first place. But sometimes it cannot be avoided. However, for most people, losing trust is losing a friend, a family member, or a loved one. You can never look at them the same. There is little that you can say. Only your actions can restore some of the trust that was lost. Be the person they want you to be. That is the best you can do. Time. Number three. No one defeats father time. The best athletes and the smartest people have yet to turn back the clock. The passage of time is the only unstoppable force in the universe. The old saying, you can never go back home, is so true when you think about your past and the time in which it occurred. While you can never go back, you can not make the most of each moment. If you look at life as a series of moments, making the most out of them, will preserve that memory for the rest of your life. Number four, taking back hurtful words. There are times in which we lose our heads and say things we instantly regret. It happens to everyone, but when it does, Taking back the hurtful words is something that can never fully be done. You should apologize. Be just like losing trust. The relationship is never the same. It is a lesson from your life that should be used to not say hurtful words again. Speak your mind and express your feelings, but do not use hurtful words against those you love. Number five, judgment when passed. When you judge someone based on perceptions that are not true, you start to treat them differently. Think about the times you heard a rumor about someone that later turned out not to be true. If you had never heard that rumor, you would have treated them different. Your relationship should be based on what you know, what you have seen firsthand, and providing the benefit of the doubt. That is the basis of a healthy relationship. And that is what happened to me. People took, because of my relationship with that one individual, the female snake, and the relationship we had, and no matter what it looks like, what you think, I know what it felt like to be betrayed. And what I thought we had was a friendship. And to hear them laugh and say that it was nothing and I'm nothing. And that silly woman. I can only imagine the things that they were saying to the other people that made the people feel the way they feel. But the people chose to feel that way because they know I had done no harm to any of them. So that's the decision they made. And that's fine. I don't actually have any life regrets from you two. I don't hold grudges. I don't forget anything either. And I'm subject to talk about whatever I choose to and my hurt and my pain at any point in time. But I do know this. Time is too far spent and too short. And we as a people are too divided and too far behind for us to keep trying to destroy one another. 
Boy, I just really wish that everybody would have grabbed on to the idea that was brought to us to do the battle type roasting so that everybody, as you youngsters love to say, can eat. Everybody, because some of you all are so very funny. Innately, you are funny. And you all have a lot of knowledge. Most of you are my son's age. And you all don't know how proud I am to hear some of the things that come out of you all's mouth. And no, I ain't trying to be your mama. A lot of you, I'm humbled, looked and respect me as an elder, as an aunt. Remind them of their grandmother, their mother, their older sibling. That's humbling for me. I don't care what people think. <laughs> you don't know me. So think what you want. But I know what I've shown. And I've shown myself to be who I am. Everything that you pretend you know and the things you say about me, whoever you are, it's something somebody done told you, just like that judgment that was passed. Had you not heard the rumor, you'd have treated that person differently. But tell yourself whatever you need to tell yourself to make it through the day. And I'm going to continue to be me at all times. And I hurt. And I go through my pain. And I come out as pure gold every time. Oh, with some scars, a few bru bruises, but it is well. Number six is moment when past. Life consists of moments. When the moment arises where we can show our appreciation, be the shoulder that a person can lean on or help someone. Heal from a bad experience and do not take advantage. That moment is gone, never to come back. All we have left is our regret if not doing what we could at that moment. I don't know about you guys. But really, what is life but a fleeting moment? What is it? <laughs> I'm so very proud of the content creator that I'm speaking of who has felt the feelings of betrayal and the pain. And you may not ever be able to relate what I'm saying to you as to what's happening with you right now. Boy, but I can truly relate because that's exactly what happened to me and I was taken aback. A lot of people say they're believers in what I don't know. They said the written word, the incarnate word of God. I can't tell. Perhaps they are. But I just want to leave you all with one or two of these scriptures. Do to others as you would have them do to you. It would be a good idea to do that. Do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit. Rather, in humility, value others above yourselves. And maybe I need to give you guys the scriptures. I know you all know them all. I know y'all read the Bible backwards and forwards. But the first one is Luke 6, 31. The second one is Philippians 2, 3. Carry each other's burdens. And in this way, you will fulfill the law of Christ. 
That's Galatians 6, 28. First John 4 and 11 says, Dear friends, since God loved us that much, we surely ought to love each other. We got to get back to the love factor. We got to. If we are to survive as a people in the universe, we know the mind, in the world, the physical, and in the metaverse, the present. We got to get back to love. Love of self and love of others. There's a lot of help out here. You don't have to listen to a word that I say. But I'm going to forever do what I can to help uplift my people as I uplift myself. Job 6.14 says, anyone who withholds kindness from a friend forsakes the fear of the Almighty. Job 16, 2021. My intercessor is my friend as my eyes pour out tears to God. On behalf of a man, he pleads with God as one pleads for a friend. First Thessalonians 5 and 1 says, Therefore, encourage one another and build one another up just as you are doing. Proverbs 17 and 9 said, one who forgives an affront fosters friendship, but one who dwells on disputes will alienate a friend. Listen to advice and accept discipline. And at the end, you will be counted among the wives. That's Proverbs 19 and 20. And it doesn't have to be what I say. It could be what anybody say. When they're telling truth. Proverbs 17 and 17 says... A friend loveth at all times, and a brother is born for adversity. And this is one, y'all, that really touches my heart because this is one that allows us to understand the power of being on one accord or being together and not divided. And this is Ecclesiastes 4, 9, and 12. Two people are better off than one, for they can help each other succeed. If one person falls, the other can reach out and help. But someone who falls alone is in real trouble. Likewise, two people lying close together can keep each other warm. But how can one be warm alone? A person standing alone can be attacked and defeated, but two can stand back to back and conquer. Three are even better, for a triple braid cord is not easily broken. And that's a triple braided cord is not easily broken. Again, that's Ecclesiastes 4, 9 through 12. 27, 17 says, iron sharpens iron and one man sharpens another. When Job prayed for his friends, 
The Lord restored his fortunes, giving him twice as much as before. Job 42 and 10. These scriptures I have hidden in my heart, but I'm reading them. I grew up on them. And although I see things differently today, the truth of the matter never changes. So I don't see the word that is true different. It's just the things we were taught and how we were taught. More so the how than the what. But we got to look at them both. The why, the when, the where. We need to understand. We have an enemy far greater than us. And we're doing exactly what they want as long as we stay divided, whoever they are. You define they for yourself. I can't do it for you. John 15, 13 says, Greater love has no one than this to lay down one's life for one's friends. Ecclesiastes 4.10 says, if either of them falls down, one can help the other up. But pity anyone who falls. It has no one to help them up. And we see a lot of that in the metaverse. And believe it or not, that's why a lot of people like division because they want to see you as miserable as they are. Believe that. It is true. Proverbs 27 and 6 says, Faithful are the wounds of a friend. Profuse are the kisses of an enemy. And one would pronounce that also profuse. Proverbs 12 and 26 says, the righteous choose their friends carefully, but the way of the wicked leads them astray. And as we would say, you don't hear me, Proverbs 22, 24, and 25 says, Don't make friends with a hot-tempered person. Do not associate with one easily angered, or you may learn their ways and get yourself ensnared. We see that happening a lot here. 1 Corinthians 15, 33 says, Do not be misled. Bad company corrupts good character. Proverbs 13 and 20 says, walk with the wise and become wise for a companion of fools suffers harm. Proverbs 27 and 56 5 through 6 says, better is open rebuke than hidden love. Wounds from a friend can be trusted, but an enemy multiplies kisses. You might want to wind that back and play it again. Proverbs 18 and 24 says, one who has unreliable friends soon comes to ruin, but there is a friend who sticks closer than a brother. And that's Proverbs 18 and 24. I hope that this message will bring some hope to somebody. It is my desire to do what I came here to do and that's to share me. 
the way I share me, when I share me. I appreciate everybody that subscribed to me, everybody that come and go, everybody in the bushes, in the trees, in the sky, in the clouds, on the beach, in the sand, on the cruise, in the water, wherever you may be. And if you tune in to Toothless and give me any of your time, just know I'm truly grateful. And that's from the sincerity of my heart. We all fall short of someone else's expectations and sometimes even our own. I share it with everybody and I'll make it no secret. I judge no one, but I'll talk about you good, bad, and indifferent, no matter who you are. To thine own self be true and you'll be true to everybody. Love. What the world needs now is love. It's the only thing that there's just too little of. So I'm going to get ready to get out of here because, again, I just wanted to do this because I didn't want to deprive my faithful few of coming and hearing me. We're almost at the finish line. And we're going to run on to see what the end is going to be. Because this right here is just at the state's level. But we're not going to ever stop. As long as my sister do her thing, I'm going to do mine. I greatly appreciate all of my supporters. My gifts that was gifted to my members I thank you so very much. The beautiful, beautiful relationships that I have with the people that I have them. I'm even grateful for the ones I thought I had and to see how low they'll go. It really makes me feel higher. So I appreciate you guys too. It helps sharpen me. When I see you, one that I had esteem for, go so low. It really helps. And it lets you know it can happen to any of us. It really can. Hurting people hurt people. And there's a lot of hurting people in the metaverse on YouTube. YouTube is the platform that is good. If you choose to use it for that. And it can be anything else you want it to be. I saw a picture of a content creator that I don't know well. And they tried to chastise me. And they were with their daughter. She is absolutely, exquisitely beautiful. And she looks just like her daddy. I almost made a comment. But then I didn't want anyone to think that I was harassing them because I don't know them, but I recognize beauty and I recognize a father that loves his children. And no matter if I know you, dislike you, like you, don't know you and I don't know you. So I don't have any of those feelings, but that was an awfully beautiful picture. I mean, they're standing there looking identical the apple of her dad's eye. Beautiful, beautiful young lady. And I wish her all the successes. I don't know what she did, but she won trophies. And that was absolutely beautiful. I'm going to get ready to uh, leave the Tiger's Den. But of course, I can't leave without playing a song or two. And I know some people don't like my songs. But they really are healing for me. And... All I can do is live for me. And I guarantee you, if I don't harm you and you don't harm me, then no harm is done. But if my very existence harm you, then you're in trouble and it's your problem. Because I will live until I die. 
and I will give until I can't. So on that note, have a beautiful week. I'm preparing for the free birthday show Wednesday as I celebrate entering into my 65th year of life. I hope you, whoever, will join me as I celebrate life as I know it. And on that note, I will play a song or two and I'm leaving the Tiger's Den. Goodbye. In the mother's love, you will find everything, everything's all right. To a mother's love, you are bound, you can rest on sacred ground. You are free to dream Because she sees What you can be And let me just say to the content creator In case I didn't say this to you One thing I can honestly say about you, even though I thought that you have gone way somewhere deep, your integrity, your honor, your beauty, no matter how you act on this YouTube shows, the love of your parents and the foundation they laid before you shows when you choose to show it. So I just want you to know that I'm truly proud of you being who you are because you have not wavered in who you say you are. So I would have to believe that you are who you say you are. You probably have done some things that I thought you wouldn't do, but I don't know you. So I can't say what you would or wouldn't do. But from what I can tell, other than you thinking that I lied on you and you keep saying that, that's a lie. (laughs) 100%. But I understand it. To a degree. As being human. But I don't understand it because if you do not care for me, you just don't care for me. And you don't have to come up with a lie. Honesty for me is the greatest thing one can give me. Honesty. If you're honest, you don't have to demand loyalty. You don't have to demand love. You don't have to demand anything. It comes freely. Because you're honest. And my daddy taught us sometimes the truth will get you killed just as quick as a lie. So sometimes you got to tell a lie. And sometimes you do. And we've all learned that. For it's even written, even the Lord sent a lion spirit to save his people. So one must do what one must do. But I didn't want to leave here without saying those words. That I appreciate you being true to you. And whether we ever speak again, just know you have my energy positively going toward you for your success. Because no matter what you do here and you have always told us it's just the fuck shit and you like it and you're here for it. You never pretended to be anything else. And when you go to your intellect, you're there and you're on top of your shit. So I applaud you.
Continue to be who you are, how you choose to be. You know, we may laugh and we may talk about, because I'm tell you, I do. Some of your antics. But you are an excellent mentor, so therefore I know you are an excellent mother. And I know that we all fall short. Remember of other people's expectations and sometimes even our own. So as parents, we fall short. But that's because it's a human thing. And I just want you to know, again, keep doing what you're doing. You have the capacity to be great on YouTube, just with your knowledge alone. You have the capacity. As I heard stated to you last night, to do great commentary because you call a thing a thing as one of your favorite lines. And you admit to being a whole lot of, whole lot of. And that's a good thing. You don't need my permission, and I'm not trying to give it to you. I just want to let you know that I appreciate you being you. And to all the ones who are trying to be somebody else, perhaps that's who you are. I don't know. But there's also a scripture that asks the question, what good does it do you to gain the whole world and lose your soul? It's not profitable. And only you know your intentions. You can only be who you are. And you can only hide it for so long. But agree with your adversary quickly so that you don't have lingering bad energy around you. You don't have to like anybody. You don't have to deal with anybody. But if we could show one, love one to another, we ought to do it. And especially if you profess to be a believer. You just ought to do it because it's the right thing to do. I believe the children are future. Teach them well and let them lead the way. Show them all the beauty they possess inside. Give them a sense of pride to make it easier let the children's laughter remind us who we used to be everybody searching for a hero people need someone to look up to i never found anyone to fulfill my need a lonely place to be so i learned to depend on me i decided long ago never to walk in anyone's shadow if i failed if i succeed at least i'll live as i believe no matter what they take from me they can't take away my dignity because the greatest love of all is happening to me. I found the greatest love of all inside of me the greatest love 
all is easy to achieve. Learning to love yourself is the greatest love of all. And if I sense that special place that you've been dreaming of takes you to a lonely place find yourself in love